Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and we have made it to day five, Friday. Happy Friday, congratulations, good job. You made it to your mat. So we will go ahead and get started on day five of this yoga challenge. We'll go ahead and meet in child's pose. So making your way into child's pose, big toes to touch, knees wide to the mat, sinking the hips back towards the heels, extending the fingertips out in front of you. Resting the forearms down on the mat and your forehead down on the mat. And maybe you begin to roll your forehead side to side here. And just gently massaging your forehead. And then coming to a still child's pose, you can bring your hands on the outsides of your knees, palms facing up, relaxing the shoulders down, and just letting them roll forward. And just take a deep breath in through the nose here. And open mouth, exhale. Another deep breath in through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. You can bring your hands back in front of you and gently roll up to sitting on your heels. Eyes closed, hands to heart center. If you brought an intention today, a prayer, a mantra, a personal goal, I invite you to bring it to the forefront of your mind. But if you are drawing a blank today, no problem. I invite you to share my intention of gratitude. And this time, just gratitude for truly pushing yourself to make it all the way to day five. You have to celebrate the small things, the medium things, the big things. They're all important. But whatever your intention was, you can take a deep breath in through the nose and open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. You can flutter your eyes open, drop your hands down by your sides and inhale, sweep your arms up while you're seated and just relax your shoulders down your back. Pivot your pinkies in so it almost feels like you're trying to high five the back wall. And just breathe here for a moment. Actively shoot that energy through your fingertips. Deep breath in and exhale. Coming into rabbit, you're gonna face your palms out, reach them behind you, interlace your fingers, inhale, puff up your chest and exhale, bringing your head down to the mat. Extend your hands over you. Shoulders coming into a nice stretch. Breathe here. And slowly release your fingertips. Place your hands down on the mat. Inhale, curl the toes and exhale. Send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Maybe you inhale up to your toes and exhale, send your heels down to the mat. Another inhale up to the toes and exhale, send your heels down. And maybe a few spinal rolls here. So inhale up to your toes, dome the back and exhale. Send the hips back, roll it down. Another inhale up to your toes, dome the back, exhale. Arch your back. Send your chest towards your thighs. Inhale one more time, up to toes. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, step there. Inhale, halfway lift. Roll your shoulders down your back. 
and exhale, generously bend your knees, forward fold. Bring your hands to connect to the backs of your ankles, your heels. Drop your head down. Maybe you rock front to back. Nodding your head yes or shaking it no. Feeling that release in the lower back. Awesome. Coming to this still stance, slowly roll on up with your head coming absolutely last. And inhale, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, send your hips forward. Just a mini back bend, standing back bend. Lift the chest. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, forward fold, dive it down. One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, back to standing. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up high, mountain pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, hide a little plank. Plant your hands, shift forward onto your toes, and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your chest forward. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. And exhale, low lunge, step it in between your hands. Coming into a crescent, inhale up to crescent lunge on the right hand side. Press your right heel forward. Hold and breathe here just for a moment. Nice deep right lunge. And on an inhale, we're gonna to come to a one-legged Tadasana. So you're gonna really wanna take your time. So inhale, power up through that one-legged Tadasana and hold and breathe here. You can point or flex your toe, whatever feels comfortable to you. And just hold and breathe here for a moment. Deep breath in. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center and slowly hinge forward into warrior three. So if this is where your warrior three is, that is totally fine. Whenever you're ready, you can also begin to extend that back left leg out. And you can find a micro bend in your right leg, in your right knee actually. Send your gaze down. You don't want to gaze forward. And then when you're ready with control, bring that left foot right back down into crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in. And exhale to warrior two. Pivot your left foot out. Adjust your stance if needed. Inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep your right arm up and over your head. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Take care of vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Awesome job, you guys. All right, inhale, sweep the left leg high. And exhale, low lunge, step it between your hands. Making your way to crescent on the left. Inhale to crescent lunge here. Press that back right heel forward. Engage everything here. Press your right back knee up towards the roof. Deep breath in. And exhale. And now getting ready for one-legged Tadasana. Inhale. To a one-legged Tadasana, you can point or flex your toe. Hold and breathe here. It's okay to wobble, by the way. Everything is working to keep you up upright, which is perfect. Deep breath in, and exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, and exhale, hinge forward into warrior three, beginning to extend the right leg out behind you. Again, find a micro bend in that left knee, 
and gaze forward and down. You don't want to gaze straight ahead and you definitely don't want to look at me right now. And when you're ready, slowly begin with control, bringing your right foot back down to the mat. Inhale back to crescent. Perfect, deep breath in and exhale to warrior two. Adjust your stance, find that lunge in your left leg again. Perfect, inhale, reverse warrior, sweep your left arm up and over. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Perfect, deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Perfect. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale. Come to standing on your knees. Slightly part your knees, spread your knees a little bit further than your hips. And we're gonna work on going into hero pose. So you can bring your arms out in front of you and then gently Send your hips back in between your heels. If this is a little too intense, feel free to bring a blanket or a pillow right in between your feet to um, help with that connection from your glutes to the mat. So lowering down on an exhale. You can bring your hands to heart center if that feels comfortable. Inhale, back up, and exhale down into hero. One more time, inhale, back up, and exhale, bring it down. Perfect. Bringing your hands down to your mat, you can come back up to your knees, flex your toes out, and begin to open your knees a little bit wider, moving into frog pose. So you can flex your toes, open your knees as wide as you feel comfortable, and use your palms to press away from the earth or lower yourself down if you feel you need a little bit more um, of, a, a deep, of a deeper stretch. And you can just gently rock back and forth here. And now if you feel comfortable, you can come down to your forearms. And don't forget to breathe. Begin to push your way back up if you came down to your forearms. And you can wiggle your feet back to meet each other, knees back together, and then kick your feet out in front of you. And now bringing your right inside of your foot to the inside of your thigh. You can keep your left leg extended. Inhale, up to a seated Tadasana, and exhale, half seated forward fold. Draw your chest over the top of your thigh. And now if this feels a little too tight for you, just bring your hands underneath your calf and begin to pull yourself forward, pull your chest forward, as opposed to arching over. And breathe here. And then slowly release, come back up. And you can switch feet, extending the right leg out long. Left foot to your inner right thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, half seated forward fold. Fold your chest over. I'm breathing here. And 
and slowly release. And bringing the soles of your feet together, you can recline gently into Supta Baddha Konasana, all the way down on your back. You can place your hands on the insides of your thighs, or one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And just breathe here and let gravity do the work. And as you're ready, you can begin to straighten your legs out on your mat, finding your way into Shavasana. You can let your palms face up towards the ceiling. And let your shoulders roll down your back. Nice deep breath in through the nose and open mouth exhale. And release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. If you find yourself clenching your teeth, just create some space in between your teeth. Remove any wrinkles from in between your brows. And just be here. If you have more time in Shavasana, I highly encourage you to take as much time as you need, but if you are looking to move on with your day, we'll start with a nice deep breath in through the nose, and open mouth exhale. You can begin to wiggle fingers and toes, maybe rolling your wrists, rolling your ankles and extending your arms overhead in a nice long body stretch. And then making your way into fetal pose, rolling over onto either side, using your bicep as a pillow. Fetal pose represents the rebirth from the practice on our mat to the practice in our daily lives. And as you're ready, you can begin to keep your eyes closed and press up to a seated position, whichever seated position feels comfortable to you. And you can rest your palms down on your knees or up and find a nice tall seat like you're sitting with purpose and intention. And then bring your palms together to your forehead to remind yourself that everything begins with a thought. Our thoughts are so important and if we can just really harness them, we can go a lot further than what we think we can. Bring them to your lips to remind yourself of positive words to others and even more importantly to yourself and bringing your hands to your heart to remind yourself that you are loved. You are created out of love and you are just as deserving of love as anyone else. You we're created with a purpose, an intention, and you're far from any type of mistake. You can flutter your eyes open 
God bless, friends. Namaste. I am so proud of you for making it to Friday. Like, it's Friday, which for some of you, it might be payday. So congratulations. We only have two more days after this, and I am very excited to see you on day six tomorrow on Saturday. So congratulations. I'm so happy. And if you um, enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions or suggestions or feedback I'm so very open to it and I respond to every single person So just leave them down below and I'll get to it for sure um, And if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow Bye